You have big goals for yourself. Somehow, year after year, you can't seem to make them happen. What you need is a vision board. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a vision board that is simple and effective. Hope you'll stick around. Welcome back to Ange 2.0, where I'm showing you how to improve your life one day at a time. One of the things I talked about in my last video was having a plan, which is so important in creating change in your life. We know what we want. We know what we want to change in our life, but often it is out of sight, out of mind, let's be real. Even as much as we want things to happen, not having that constant reminder, not having that support, not having that energy around us, not having that visual is making our goals a lot harder to attain. So that's why I love vision boards so much is because it's a constant reminder of what can be. So again, we are talking about vision boards today, specifically what they are and how we can create one to improve our lives. Now I know you've seen a lot of YouTube videos out there where people are making vision boards, but they're most of the time doing them incorrectly. Mm. What people tend to do when they're doing vision boards is they tend to make these really extravagant goals far into the future that are unattainable for the short time frame. The problem with that is if you create goals for yourself that are too broad or too grandiose, a lot of times you might get discouraged if it turns out that those dreams don't become a reality and that's when people quit. I don't know if you've heard before how New Year's resolutions fail very often because people are looking at the whole year. They'll say either I'm going to go to the gym every day, I'm going to lose this much weight and by the end of the year, by December of this year, I will have accomplished XYZ. And realistically, that doesn't work like that. Most people aren't able to stick with their goals all the way through, and once they mess up or have a slip up here and there, they get very discouraged and they say, well, I've already messed up. What's the point in trying anymore? It's done, I've already failed, so end of story. And they don't achieve their goals. So what you have to do is you have to make those goals attainable and short term. So today what I'm going to show you is how to create your vision board where your goals are very achievable and made for short term so that you can look back after a month and see what progress you've been able to make. If you take baby steps, you are much more likely to reach your goal. If you can take a moment right now just to hit the like and subscribe button for me, that would be wonderful. That can help me spread this to others who might be starting out in their lives with a big change. Um, whether they want to start a vision board and don't know how to do it, that's not so overwhelming. Or for others who are just looking for a change in their life for the better. So for my goal this year, I want to be able to work out more. That's something I've been struggling with. The motivation has just kind of left and I really regret not starting this a long time ago. I've had plenty of opportunities and it's just been excuses. I can admit that. So what I want to do with this vision board is create reminders for myself and motivation so that I know, okay, a month from now, I'm gonna check in and see what I've been able to accomplish. Health is one. Another one is growing this channel, Ange 2.0. So it's a very new channel. And I realized that especially for new YouTubers, getting an audience isn't always quick. However, instead of saying, I want to reach a thousand subscribers in a month, I'm saying, I'm just going to be aiming for 50. That's my goal for the next month. We'll see if that happens. Another goal of mine is to read one book a month that has to do with success bettering your life. I feel these goals that you and I make up, they are so much more attainable if you feel that you are surrounded by that energy. If you're constantly surrounding yourselves with people who are motivating you, who are pushing you to do your best and to cheer you on along the way, you're more likely to achieve your goals. And I feel like reading a book like that is often something that could be a big motivator for me. So that's something I'm actually looking forward to. Another goal of mine is to do reels 
every day or at least every other day. Now that's gonna be challenging because I'm not used to doing them so frequently, but I know consistency is the key, so that's something I'm looking forward to trying also. And lastly, my last goal is to improve my YouTube studio or office space. I'm hoping that you can join me on that journey and you can see kind of where I am now and hoping, you know, within a month, you'll see the progress and see things switching up little by little. I think the quote is, how do we eat an elephant one bite at a time? I know that sounds really weird because it's like, well, why would you eat an elephant to begin with? But you get the point. So baby steps is the key. Join me as I make my vision board and hopefully you'll find some inspiration to make your vision board as well starting today. Even if you can't get it all together, you can start brainstorming ideas and start getting your pictures together. So let's get started. All I'm doing right here is I am going to my Google Drive and I'm going to open up just a Google Doc. This is going to allow me to find images that I'm going to just copy and paste onto the page before printing them out. So as you can see, I am finding images online of what I want to put in my vision board and I'm just pasting them vertically. When I have them in my document, then I can adjust the sizing if needed so that it's not too big, not too small, considering that I'm going to have this on my vision board, which is only 12 by 15. So here we are with our shadow box. I will link this down in the description below. Um, it's a 12 inch by 15 inch shadow box. The reason why I chose a shadow box is to more easily switch out the pictures every month. So let's go ahead and open this up. As you can see, this is a black frame, which I love because it goes well with the background that I'm gonna have in my office. see this comes with some push pins that I'm going to use to secure the pictures onto the shadow box. So the next thing I want to do is take the printouts that I had and I want to start cutting out my images and placing them on my shadow box board. I'm doing just a rough cutout. I'm not too worried about having some excess. Remember, this is something for you to do and to have something to motivate you. So it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect because it's just supposed to be a daily reminder for you. all my pictures cut out. I want to arrange them onto the shadow box board so that it looks physically appealing. With a vision board, at least when you do it correctly, you're trying to motivate yourself with short-term goals that can be achievable within a short amount of time. So these goals are meant to take place over the course of a month. While I understand that having a body like this is not probable or possible, I should even say, it is a really good reminder and it motivates me to do it. So this is more just to kind of remind me. 
finally, I have some just little pieces to keep me motivated. This isn't so much like a goal, but it is just little words of encouragement to kind of keep me going, keep me having a positive mindset. So good things are going to happen. I really believe that if you have a positive mentality that they are inevitable, you're manifesting that. Also, I am going to actually move this down, switch this a little bit around because I want to place this at the very, very top. My father passed away in 2019 from dementia and it was a really hard experience to go through. Uh, one of the things I found in his belongings not too long after he had passed is a notebook with in a notepad with some of his notes and he wrote this statement which means essentially if you want it bad enough it can happen so that's my dad's handwriting his message and that is just so much more powerful for this vision board okay so it looks like i am running out of space here now Obviously, you don't have to cover this entire thing. You can kind of do however however it makes sense to you. I do have a couple of other little pieces and I'm trying to see if this is something that I can fit in here. If not, how can I make this happen? So let's see, maybe if I put this up here and try to rearrange some of these. I, by the way, I really love this quote. It says, your only limit is your mind, which I love, love, love that. So I definitely, I definitely wanna have that on here. And it might be a piece that I just keep on every month, who knows. That's kind of the beauty of doing a vision board is you can adjust it however you see fit. Actually think that I'm going to put it like this it's not again it's not something that has to be crazy over the top it's just meant for you this isn't necessarily meant to be for anybody else so once I have it the way I want it I can go ahead and start pinning things into place now you are more than welcome to add any sort of embellishments uh, stickers or any other decorative pieces to make this look the way you want for my first vision board, I'm just gonna keep it simple. I just want to have a basic vision board to start off with, and then maybe in the future, move on to a more decorative piece. So all I'm doing is I'm just going to be pinning these down. like right now not a whole lot again not really supposed to have a whole lot if you want a vision board that is effective and something that is truly within your reach because you want your goals to be small and attainable that way you're not getting discouraged in outlandish goals that potentially might not happen and could discourage you so I feel like these are very achievable goals for me and so this is why I only have a few on here. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my frame and place it in the frame. And there it is. This is my vision board for the month of February. We will check back in at the end of the month or at the beginning of March to see how many of these I've actually accomplished. What do you guys think? Like I said, not too crazy, small, functional for what I need this for. So there we have it. There is my vision board and it's not much, but you know what? It's mine, okay? It's only meant for me and I think it's cute, it's quaint and the best thing is, is that I feel like it can help me. It's not too cluttered. It's just enough to remind me of what I need to do within the next month to meet my goals. <laughs>